the holidays are coming up, which means lots of holiday parties. Mm -hmm. So lots of people out there will be indulging in a little wine. But we can't forget that with parties come pictures, and there's nothing worse than red wine mouth. Ugh. So beauty reporter Kirby Johnson is here to tell us how to avoid the telltale sign. Yes, all right. So I'm going to sound like a dentist right now, but <laughs> if you floss every day, it's going to make your dentist happy, but also it's going to be great for those pictures because chromogen, which is the coloring agent in your red wine okay. and in a lot of teas, actually, that likes to stick to plaque. So if you get rid of that plaque in between your teeth, you're less likely to have a mouthful of red wine later on. Who knew? Yeah. Okay, so that's a great preventative tip, but yep. then once you're at the party and you've decided you're just going to drink the wine, what yes. can you do? Okay, so I know we all like to have a lot of fun. We go to these parties, we start drinking the red wine, then we mix it up with the white, or maybe we start <laughs> with the white and go to the red. Do not mix your wines. Stick to either white or stick to red, and here's why. White actually acts like a primer. Before you paint your okay. walls, you put on a primer so it sticks more. Sure. This is going to actually erode a lot of your enamel because wine is full of different acids. So it's kind of priming your teeth for this red. So then the red will stick a little bit more if you start oh, off with white. So I never knew that. Keep them separated. Okay. Stick to either red or to white. Okay, so I feel like even if you do stick to red, sometimes you still get the red mouth. So what else can you do even if you're being good and just only red? Okay, so I know a lot of people probably will pack a little uh, emergency kit in their purse that might have a toothbrush and their toothpaste, and they think, I'm going to have a few glasses of wine, go into the bathroom, clean up my teeth, and then go back out there. This is actually completely counterproductive. You should always oh, wait at least okay. an hour after you drink your wine to brush your teeth because the wine will make your teeth a lot more sensitive. So when you brush, it's a little too aggressive. It'll help to erode that enamel. So then when you go back out into the party and drink more wine, it's the wine's going to stick. It's going to be worse. So okay. don't do that, okay? There are a few options. Have a glass of wine and after every glass of wine go and get some sparkling water. Kind of, you know, swoosh it through your mouth a little well, and bit. and that's a good tip for several reasons. Yes. It also <laughs> keeps you from getting tipsy. Ex yes. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> match one to the other and then go over to the appetizer table. What you can do is either eat carrots or celery. They have a lot of fiber in them and, and fibrous foods will help to produce more saliva in your mouth, which sounds gross, but <laughs> they will act as a natural toothbrush, so to speak, because it'll okay. create that saliva, help to get rid of all that redness in your mouth and you're getting some nutritional value exactly. as well. Why it's not? Healthy too. Exactly. So you can eat, you can drink, you can drink your sparkling wine and you're good to or your sparkling water and you're good to go. Wonderful. Well cheers Kirby. Cheers. Thank you.